Welcome back to my lesson on more concept. This is the second lesson on more concept. But in today's lesson, we'll be looking at molar volume. What is molar volume? Molar volume is the volume occupied by one more of a gas. So, because gases cannot be measured in terms of mass, because they are too small and very light, chemists introduce another way of measuring them using volume. So, one more of a gas occupies a volume called molar volume. According to Avogadro's law, one more of any gas at the same temperature and pressure is found to contain the same number of molecules 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 and same volume which means that if i picked the one more of oxygen at the same temperature and one more of hydrogen at the same temperature these two gases will contain the same number of molecules and also will occupy the same volume At standard temperature and pressure, STP, one more of any gas occupies 22.4 cubic decimeter. So in other words, one more of any gas at STP has the molar volume of 22.4 cubic decimeter. And at room temperature and pressure, RTP, one more of any gas occupies the volume of 24.0 cubic decimeter, which also means that at RTP, the molar volume of any gas is 24.0 cubic decimeter, or one more of any gas at RTP has a molar volume of 24.0 decimeter cubed. These volumes are known as the molar volumes. This means that at RTP, room temperature and pressure pressure is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury or one atmospheric temperature is equal to 298 kelvin or 25 degrees celsius so at these conditions rtp one more of any gas will always have 24.0 cubic decimeter and also have 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules so this for example if this container we have here contains gases or a certain gas at the temperature of 25 degrees celsius one atmospheric as pressure and it contains one more that means that one more is occupying the volume of 24 cubic decimeter also at STP standard temperature and pressure pressure is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury or one atmospheric and temperature is equal to 273 Kelvin or 0 degrees Celsius. At these conditions, one more equals 22.4 cubic decimeter, which is also equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules, which implies that In this container, for example, if the temperature is 
zero degrees Celsius, pressure one atmospheric, and number of moles is equal to one. That means the gas here is occupying the volume of 22.4 cubic decimeter. And in the same container here, there are 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules. So even in the periodic table, this is indicated. So if you have a periodic table, go at the bottom of the periodic table, you find this indicated there that the volume of one more of any gas is 24 cubic decimeter at room temperature and deep pressure. This is put there as a reminder in case you forget you can go to that part of the periodic table and see the relationship between one more of any gas at RRTP and also the volume. You find that one more is equal to 24 cubic decimeter. The following equation relates the moles, molar volume, Vm, and the measured volume, V. So N is equal to V over Vm, where N is equal to number of moles in units more. V is the measured volume in units of a cubic decimeter or liters. Vm is the molar volume in units of a cubic decimeter per mole. Let us look at an example. Example 1. What is the volume obtained by 0 0.25 mole of carbon 4 oxide at the STP? So to answer this question, we have to write down our formula, which is the number of moles is equal to volume of a molar volume. We have decided to color volume because this is our focus and this is our question we are asked to find. So as you can see, the question says, what is the volume? So we have decided to color V because that's what we are going to calculate. So to help us find V, first of all, we have to put our data which is provided in the question or the information provided in the question which will help us find our question. So data, number of moles is equal to 0 0.25 mole. Here we are given that also volume, molar volume is equal to 22.4 cubic decimeter. Why? Because we are working at STP. STP, standard temperature and pressure, volume of one mole is always 22.4 cubic decimeter. And then Volume is question mark because that's what we are going to find in this question. So, we are going to make volume the subject of the formula by, so we are going to say n over 1 so that it also becomes fraction. So, on the left side of the equation, we have a fraction. And on the right side of the equation, we have also a fraction. So, we are going to multiply like 1 times C, 1 times C, V. So if we multiply 1 times V, we are going to get V, as you can see. Then we are going to multiply also, we are also going to multiply N times V. So if we multiply N times V, we get N times C, also. Then next is to substitute our data. We said number of moles is 0 0.25 more times we said volume is 22.4 cubic decimeter per mole. Then we are going to multiply uh, 0 0.25 times 24.4 22.4 and we are going to obtain 5.6 cubic decimeter or 5600 cubic centimeters. Alternatively, you can solve the question as follows. You know that at 
STP, one more is always 22.4 cubic decimeter. Since you have provided 0 0.25 moles in information, you may ask yourself that then how much volume is it going to occupy? When you cross multiply, you multiply one more here. You're going to say one more times the x, which will give you x more equals, then you are going to say 0 0.25 more times 22.4, which is going to give you 5.6 cubic decimeter per more. Then you are going to divide over more also here, over more. Then you are going to cross out the more, which is common, so that you remain with x, the more here. So meaning x is going to be 6.2. I mean 5.6 cubic decimeter or 5600 cubic centimeters. So let's look at example 2. How many moles of ammonia occupy a volume of 480 cubic centimeters at the RITP, room temperature and pressure? So to answer our question, we are going to write our equation number of moles colored because that's what the question is asking us to find is equal to volume of molar volume then we'll put our data which is the information provided in the question which is going to help us answer the question so we are going to say volume provided there is 480 centimeter cubic then we are also going to say molar volume since we are working at RTP. At RTP, the volume is always 24 cubic decimeter per one mole. So that is it there. Then number of moles is question mark there because that's what we are being asked to find. So here we don't need to make any and the subject of the formula because it is already so we are going to substitute so we are going to substitute before we substitute first of all we need to convert this uh, volume here which is 480 cubic centimeters into decimeters because volume is supposed to be measured in cubic decimeters so what we know is a relationship which exists between uh, centimeters and the cubic decimeters. We know that 1000 cubic centimeters always equals one cubic decimeter. So if we are given 480 cubic centimeters, what is that going to be in decimeter? We don't know. So we are going to cross where we are going to multiply 1000 cubic centimeters times x to get 1000 cubic centimeters x and then we will multiply 480 centimeters or cubic centimeters times 1 cubic decimeter will get 480 cubic centimeters cubic decimeter then we want to know what x is so we'll divide by 1000 cubic centimeters also on this equation 1000 cubic centimeters then we we'll cancel here when we cancel the 1000 and the 1000 will remain with x also here if we cancel the cubic decimeters and the cubic decimeters will remain with this i mean the cubic centimeters the cubic centimeters will remain with the cubic decimeter if we divide 480 by 1000 we get 0 0.48 which means that our volume in cubic decimeters is 0 0.48 cubic decimeter so our volume here now is v is equal to 0 0.48 cubic decimeter so we are going to substitute now our volume n is equal to 0 0.48 cubic decimeter divided by molar volume which is 24 cubic decimeter per mole so when we divide this we are going to have number of moles equal to 0 
two nodes. So the decimeter here will cancel with it, this decimeter here. So we remain with mod. And this mod here will take the top or will, will go at the top and then will make our units to be mods. So our answer is equal to 0 0.02 mod.